Welcome back to the Vision Experiment with me, Ty, talking everything Apple Vision Pro and spatial computing. And we're heading into WWDC 2025. We are literally a weekend away from it. We're here in beautiful California. Ah, no. No, I'm not in beautiful California, but we are in a very nice part of the UK and I am extremely jealous of anyone who is out there ready for WWDC, but that doesn't let us stop us on the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the updates to Vision OS and what is gonna be included in the keynote. One thing that I'm really bad at is telling people that this channel depends on you, the audience and the community of Vision OS users and people obviously who aspire to want to own Apple Vision Pro. And with that, I'd appreciate you guys hitting the like button and subscribing. If you subscribe and we make this channel grow, which is obviously my objective, it means we can do more amazing videos and you guys get better stuff to watch. So Apple have been really tight-lipped about anything new coming to Vision OS, but there have been a few leaks that have stood out, but not a lot. It's been really, really minimal. But one of the big ones is going to be a cross-the-board change to the numbering of basically every single Apple software from iOS, watchOS, macOS, and obviously Vision OS. Obviously, the change in numbering is going to somehow unify all of them together, whereas currently we have a bit of a fragmented numbering system. Because there is yearly updates, I think Apple have decided it'd be much easier to just blanket change them to years. So instead of it being Vision OS 2.5, it's going to be Vision OS 26. This is something I don't really mind. I think that in some ways we know that we are on the most current version of the software that is out. And obviously if you're not in a developer program, then the reality is, is that you will only ever be in the most up-to-date one that you can download. With this brings unification across all the different softwares of hardware products that Apple do. And I think it's, uh, it's a kind of no-brainer really. Because rumors are really, really sort of low on the ground, there's not that much out there for what's going to be coming at WWDC 2025. For particularly Vision Pro, it's only the tiniest little bits that we can really look at and, and analyze. And there are a couple to talk about. So there are a couple of unknown quantities when it comes to WWDC for Vision OS 26. And some of them aren't necessarily going to be coming straight away there are some things that people have been mentioning that maybe will never come but we obviously want them things like visual intelligence using uh, apple intelligence to be able to see through the cameras of apple vision pro and sort of give you information about what you're seeing in the real world um, there's going to be potentially maybe more things where you can lock windows to physical spaces to walls and things like that there are so many different small things that realistically coming out of the rumor mill, we don't know whether that's gonna happen or not. I hope they do. I really hope that there are uh, plenty of little surprises, but we'll have to see. One thing just to be clear is that this video is not about like my desire list or the things that I would really like to see in a new Vision OS update. It's more about what's been out there in sort of like the rumor mills from, you know, the likes of the Mark Germans of the world and the Mingji Quos of the world and all these kind of little things that have kind of come out, but there isn't really been that much to be totally honest. And I think that like, um, there's a good chance that we're not gonna get lots which to me is really frustrating because obviously we really hoped for a lot more and we know that apple are in this for the long haul so we're really hoping that they are going to be talking more about what they're going to do to improve the experience and how they're going to make vision pro an all-round better product realistically the only way to make it a better product is to have more content and obviously we have got blackmagic designs brand new basically Apple immersive camera. It's gonna be the Cine immersive shooting extremely high resolution and high frame rates. And I'm hoping that after the small little bit that they announced last year, 
and the fact that Blackmagic have been showing this camera off at different shows such as NAB that we're gonna finally have Apple talk a little bit more about user-created Apple immersive content and how they can do it and maybe have some people from Blackmagic in the mix of the keynote, potentially, who knows? We're not 100% sure, but I think that's gonna be a big part of this particular WWDC for Vision Pro. They may potentially show some of the more interesting apps that have released. You know, I did a small sort of story recently about the, the documentary about the camera soldier, the D-Day one, which was fantastic. And there are some incredible applications out and about on Vision Pro now. The store is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but it still needs more and it's ever evolving. Let me just kind of give you a bit of an idea about some of the things I'm hearing that we might hear about features for Apple Vision Pro. And one of the big ones that seemed to just appear out of thin air was the ability to do eye scrolling. So yes, you'll be able to use the eye tracking that's part of Apple Vision Pro to scroll web pages and scroll through documents and different things, which would be interesting, but also maybe a little bit eye fatiguing. Who knows? We won't know till we get that access. One of the things that is being touted is more compatibility for controllers and the ability to utilize those controllers for controlling Apple Vision Pro's experiences or controlling Apple Vision Pro's ability to do gaming. We're not 100% sure, but that rumor has been around specifically about the Sony PSVR 2's controllers for some time. So will they be something that is readily available upon the next update? Obviously, there's going to be a talk about AI and how AI will be advanced in some of the main products for Apple, from iPhone and iPad to Macs and more. But will we see some more refinements and some extra additions on Apple Vision Pro? I can imagine so, but I can't imagine it's going to be a quick rollout. I think Apple have decided they're going to sit back and try and make Apple intelligence something that it should have been. So I really don't think that there's gonna be a whole lot to really talk about in that sense. I think AI will be a topic, but I think Apple doesn't really wanna to highlight too much of its deficiencies in that area any more than they have to. And then the final thing that I think we're gonna see is more accessibility features. I've been hearing that we're gonna get some kind of magnification feature for people that have got some requirements for this. And maybe people who don't need it, will probably still use it. Personally, I think that WWDC 25 isn't gonna have basically anything to do with hardware. And I know that there were speculation about a potential new Vision line product, but I just don't see that being anything to do with WWDC this year. I think that we'll probably find more out about what's coming in the Vision line probably into 2026. So out of all of these, which of the updates do you want to see come to Vision OS this year? So that was it for this particular video. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It means a lot because it means that you're supporting the channel and I'm doing things hopefully right and giving you all the information that you need about Vision OS, spatial computing and more. I hope that you enjoy WWDC 2025. I'm sure it will be something interesting and throw up some curveballs potentially. And uh, anybody who's attending, man, I'm jealous. Hopefully I'll see you guys at WWDC 26. Really looking forward to that one because hopefully we'll have lots more hardware related news by then about new things in the Vision lineup. And with that, I'll catch you for another video really soon.